what's going on, guys? Uh, so we are on the cusp of Christmas. Today being Friday, the weekend before Christmas, which is a very, very short weekend because Christmas Eve lands on a Sunday this year. Which is very weird. Um, man, I'm really happy. <laughs> I'm really happy. Um... normally about this time of year, I'm normally a ball of mess because I worked in retail and this is uh, like the final stretch of a ridiculous month and a half of chaos for me. But because I made my way out of that and into a new business in a new position uh, doing really new different stuff um, it's more of laid back. It really is. It's laid back. It, it's nice. It's nice to enjoy the holiday for what it is. And that's kind of what my point is going to be in this video. I know I put out a video back towards Thanksgiving where I brought up, you know, not letting what you don't have get to you. This video is going to be about the same thing, <laughs> but in a different light. This is a time of year you need to let what you do have get to you. Remember the blessings that you got. You know, um, if you if you don't believe in a higher power, or you don't have a religion. That, that's everyone's own, you know, I'm not gonna, I, I've said it before, I'll say it again, I'm never going to attempt to push my belief system on anybody, my, my, my God is my God, and, you know, if you have questions or want to talk about them, we can, I've got no problem sharing the news, but I'm, I'm not one that feels like it's necessary to press in on anybody, um, Anyway, back to the message at hand. Um, if you don't believe in a higher power, you can call it luck, you can call it fortune, I don't care what you call it. Um, I really don't. But this time of year, in particular, you need to be more concerned about what you do have and letting it touch you. Letting the inner parts of you rejoice in what you have. Um, I feel like a lot of times we all focus on the stuff we don't have and that's kind of what makes this time of year suck for a lot. But that's not what this season's about. This, this time of year is about rejoicing in what we do have, finding a sense of peace and joy about the things that we've been blessed with, lucky with, fortunate with, whatever words you want to use to play that into. Um, don't dwell on it. Like, don't dwell on the negative uh, of this life, because there's enough of it. There's enough negativity in this world. Uh, we all need to be more positive. Every one of us. Not just, you know, certain individuals. All of us can be more positive. I can't even be more positive. There are times where I let my... inner negativity that I do my best to, like, shut out get to me. And... I mean, we're all human, it's going to happen, but we need to try to make it a less occurring thing. Um, man, just be happy. Like, it's Christmas, like, this is supposed to be the happiest time of year, as soppy and 
generic as that is to say. But, like, I'm blessed. Like, I've got my health, which I'm getting healthier. I'm kicking ass. Uh, 15 pounds down so far. Today's weigh-in. I am going to admit to all of you, though, I did screw up. Uh, last night, I made a ditch effort attempt to get fast food without, like, breaking my diet, and I broke my diet, and I broke it horribly, so I don't know what today's weigh-in is going to necessarily look like, because I screwed up pretty bad, <laughs> um, but I'm healthy, I've got five amazing kids, just amazing, amazing kids, um, an amazing girl who loves me, is there for me, supports me, gives me everything that she can and that I want, to be honest. Um, I've got a family that might not be the closest, but we all love each other. Um, I'm blessed with. Um, things that I, I hold dear to me the why in, in, in my story, why I get up, why I do what I do, why I'm able to, you know, keep going forward. Yeah, like this, this time of year, look, we need to focus on the, what we have, and we need to let it touch us, because I think it's this world, our media... Um, the news, everybody around us, they all want us to focus on what we don't have and what we're trying to get. And this time of year, it's more about recognizing what we already have and just being thankful. Um, and letting it touch you. I know that sounds odd, but I've come to learn that when you let the good stuff get to you, it, it will outweigh the bad. It will. It, it'll outweigh the bad. But you gotta, you gotta let it get to you. Um... And for some of us, that's really hard because it's a suck-up moment. It's a moment of trying to get over our pride, get over our toughness, our whatever. But we need to do that. You know, every now and again, you got to put down your walls. Every now and again, you got to put down those things in your life that stop you from just being happy and you gotta pick up the stuff that does and let it love you uh, I know this is kind of a soppy message coming from me not very normal but man it's the time of year it's, it's the, the sense of joy and a family and a friends you know I have a very very small circle and I keep it that way I don't, I don't want like tons of friends because I mean think about it just take one of your social media accounts for instance I'm going to use my Facebook because that's one of my biggest social media platforms um I've got a little over 300 friends on Facebook. Now, get don't get me wrong. I love every single one of them in their own way. And I have a relationship with each one of them in my own way. But, like, when you talk about people that are down for you, when you're, you're in a tight spot, like somebody I could go to Facebook and dial up and be like, hey, I need to borrow like 10 bucks because I'm in a rough spot and I need gas to get to work or, or you know 
something like that, it's a small circle. And I'm sure if every single one of us got honest about it, it's the truth for all of us. Like, you know, we have acquaintance friends, then we actually have friend friends, and then we have friends. I don't know. But just be thankful. Um, enjoy this weekend. Um, leading up to Christmas. 